Hello, young oh, folks. Oh, Here we go. Give you a win. <laughs> it's time for us to see what's doing. <laughs> Liberace's turning on. Nine at nine is really groovy. <laughs> Feeling groovy. <laughs> Uh, uh, number nine, uh, Saturday Night Live has a feature on their YouTube page where they show old cast members sharing memories. Here is Will Ferrell in a short excerpt. <laughs> there was a sketch. We were doing like a Smokey and the Bandit parody. So I'm in these Wrangler jeans, a Western shirt, one of those sleeveless fleece jackets, and a trucker hat. For some reasons, we had to tape it throughout the day. So I just stayed in my costume the whole day. And then I wore the costume the next day. There's this writer, Tom Janis, who's like, please wear the costume for the rest of the year. <laughs> and that was like November. So I wore it every day for the rest of the year. I think sometime in the spring, Alec Baldwin was hosting. And he came up to me, he's like, is that how you normally dress? Go, oh no, this is, this is a bit. This is a year long bit I'm doing. Okay, good. Because uh, it's not a good look for you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for telling me, Alan. <laughs> a year long bit. That's a commitment. commitment. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, uh, number eight, because it's just not cold enough here in Chicago, why not take the ultimate adventure to the end of the earth? A new hotel just opened 200 miles north of the Arctic Circle. It's called Moxie Tromso, Norway. Ugh. And it's a real bargain at $150 a night. In the winter, people are coming to see the northern lights which can be easily viewed from the balcony of the hotel's sky bar. Huh. In the summer, it's all about the midnight sun that mm -hmm. never sets. Mm -hmm. By the way, we looked up prices from O'Hare to Tromso. It's under go. 600 bucks round Mom, trip Robin? in February. Wow. Look at this. I don't not understand bad. vacationing in cold yeah, I don't when we're here in cold. No. I mean, I'm well, not a skier. Uh, but it, no. it's, just... it's like these people who live here and are going skiing this month. I, just go away. I Nobody, don't get stay it. there. Nobody needs you to come it. back. You know, I guess when you're a true athlete, though, you feel the need to, to, to challenge yourself even in the cold weather. You know my month. theory on that. Those are the kind of trips for people who go on so many vacations that they got to challenge themselves to have fun <laughs> on one. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> I just like the lodge. This is a, that's a dream like to him. He would yeah. love. Yeah. It. You'd love. Yeah, to have you ever heard yeah, of yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Light, uh, yeah. light a fire and. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 I like yeah. trying yeah. new things. Yeah. 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 All right, number seven. Uh, looking to make a nice, hearty, uh, stick to your ribs kind of dish. Try the old Australian fruit mayonnaise Ooh. with roast chicken. Oh. Uh, from the 1973 edition of the women's magazine New Idea. <laughs> the mayonnaise isn't mayonnaise at all. It's actually condensed milk combined with canned uh, fruit. Ooh, the like oranges or pineapples to create a creamy mayo like fruit salad. Mm, yum. Mm -mm. I like a fruit salad. Yeah, me too. Uh, it's supposed to be served with roast chicken, but you can easily swap that out with some cold meats or some salmon. Mm -hmm. Oh, you want. yeah. Cold meats. Cold meats, especially cold salmon, is a fun Ugh. time. All right, number six, if you have a windowless room in your house, here's an idea. Get yourself an artificial sky. The ones you see here are from a company called Colux, C-O-E-L-U-X. All right. You can install them on your ceiling to create the look and feel of having an actual skylight in your wow, house. Wow, they are. There are lots of sizes to choose from depending on your needs in the company's sun and moon versions for daytime and nighttime scenarios. Uh, prices vary. Really? Look at that's a sticker or something. That's How about that? Yeah. Look at that. That's kind of cool. Huh. There you go. Uh, all right, number five. This next topic might be more on his beat, but around here, we all love the art of glass blowing and oh. glass sculpture. Heck, it's hard to keep Paul away from the old glory hole. Yeah. <laughs> so here's a look at something that's real difficult to pull off. <laughs> Yeah, what are you talking about? I didn't about? write this, all right? It's two days in a row they're doing this to me. Uh, I'm talking about a glass sculpture of a bull and how getting that tail just right can be a real challenge. Okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, man, oh, how about that? If I had a nickel. Oh, what's going Look on now? Look at this. How do you do that? That Boy. is one Look great at... piece of tail there. Yes, yeah. It is. Looks like, a, looks like a leg almost. Well, you want to do all this before the bull gets old, too. Well, Look, that is... That. What? Mm. Look at the artistry. Mm. It's like magic. Mm. Blast blowers are unbelievable. I'll tell you. 
Look at that. Wow. Come on. That's how you do it. Right. Well, it looked uncomfortable at the beginning. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're like, yeah, it's <laughs> worth it. That bull has never looked happier. Yeah. Look at that. Uh, that is an artist. Oh, <laughs> that is a is that moral moral story <laughs> here. No, yeah, it's in the area, I think. Everything's not always what it seems. Yeah, well. Wow. Oh, yeah. Look fun. at that. Oh, that guy's done this before. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, Number four. Have you, you ever like that, kids? Pretty amazing, <laughs> yeah. right? Have you ever heard of North Brother uh, Island? No. It's an island in the East River in New York City. It's off limits to the public, through uh, though, because it's a protected bird sanctuary. It wasn't always a bird sanctuary. In 1885, Riverside Hospital opened a quarantine facility for smallpox patients oh, on the geez. island. It later took on patients with venereal disease and typhoid. Who's Ooh. she? Why are we pointing In to fact, her? Typhoid, <laughs> typhoid yeah. Mary Is lived there for two Mary? decades. Yeah. Oh. Until her oh, death my in goodness. 1938. The she hospital. Was venereal Vivian. She was something. <laughs> <laughs> so old syphilis Steve was in the bed next yeah. to him. <laughs> The hospital eventually closed. The buildings were used to house veterans for a while. After that, it was a rehab center, but the facility closed its doors for good in the early 60s. The building remains, and many claim they are haunted <laughs> by the many people who died there. Well, why don't they rebuild it or something? Freshen it up. Can you maybe. really live with that for two decades? Typhoid, not venereal. Can you live with uh, that for two decades? Well, I don't know. Typhoid Mary, I don't think, ever had the disease. She was a carrier. Uh, so oh. she not, she lived, and she didn't even know she was she was a cook. Oh, and she oh, didn't oh, even right. know she was a carrier and because she didn't have any symptoms herself. She got I a think. bad rap. Yeah. I, I watched uh, oh, something boy. about that a while. I, you know what? Often in error and never in doubt. That's yeah, my that MO. That sounds exactly <laughs> right, what you just said. I think I, That's amazing. I think there's an element of truth yeah. there somewhere. Sure, all right. We'll give the venereal Vivian update uh, tomorrow. <laughs> That's an Got even it. more interesting story. <laughs> yeah. All right, number three, uh, uh, fit check. Uh, let's normalize wearing leggings to work because these aren't your daughter's leggings. These are dressier, sleeker, grown-up versions. Spanx has several options of work looks. And you never know these were actual leggings, but they are. They're made with uh, just enough stretch to be comfortable and just enough uh, other materials to be professional. And the best part is they come in all kinds of sizes, from extra small to plus. All you need to do is throw on a cute little blazer and your favorite loafers, and uh, you're ready for the boardroom. You're going to be the least boring person in the room wearing these. Look how yeah. fun that Beautiful. is there. Yeah, yeah. Boom! Oh. All right, number two, this is Mask of Love. It's a design that won Illusion of the Year a short while back. Do you notice anything special in this Venetian mask? Uh, give me a minute here. Of love hmm. is in. Not uh, sure what I'm looking at here. Two people kissing? Really? Oh, I didn't see two people. I don't see I that. You I, guys see. I, I see one a face. man's face. Oh, oh really? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Well, no, there's two faces. I see oh, what I is. Yeah. Once you see it, your brain will flip between both visual interpretations. It was made by Gianni Sarcone and Courtney Smith. So I guess you can either see two faces yeah, I see a big or one schnoz. face. I just see the one yeah. guy with the big schnoz. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, either Why way. You guys are they judging? They're you guys judging? No, Man. it's 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 beautiful. Yeah, it is. But I Nobody only see ever one. Nobody says big schnoz and then follows it up with <laughs> beautiful. Well, I come from a family of big yeah. schnozes. There's yeah. nothing we can do about it. You, yeah. you work with what the good Lord gave yeah. you. You know, oh, there's yeah. some blessing no to shame. some people. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Number one, here's a flashback clip. We're not exactly sure. Probably about 15 years ago, the guest was a magician, Nate the Great. And he was making his lovely assistant levitate. Oh, this is way more than 15 years. This is like, I want to say this is about 20, 20 plus years ago. Right. Uh, the video is a little choppy, but you can see he, he had a few problems. All right. <laughs> Great. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, no. 
That is amazing. <laughs> it's just that simple. Well, he's doing it all. Yeah. Oh. That's the night at nine. <laughs> <laughs>